Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. I'm ready to jump into a reading for the sign of Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. So, thank you so much, everyone, for being patient. If you are returning, um, I know I've been out for a couple of weeks, but I've had some healing to do. Um, so, thank you. I really do appreciate you all. I've not lost many subscribers, which is great. So, I really do appreciate that. So, here we are, current energy as usual, Aries. So if you are new to the channel, please do subscribe, let's connect energies. The energy that I'm reading is either yours or something connected to energetically. Flip the rolls as you see fit. If these messages aren't for you, don't force it. Let's see what we've got. Oh. I see your past in your energy, Aries. Tell me about Aries energy, please. What do we have, spirit? Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. Let's be as accurate as always. Okay. Seven of Pentacles, the Fool, the World, the Three of Cups, the Four of Pentacles. Okay, one more. One more for Aries, please. Thank you. Okay, the two of wands. So it looks like you are choosing a path, Aries. There's an energy here of, this is your card. This is your energy, the fool. This is you. You're ready to take a le leap of faith towards something. Take a jump towards something, possibly to start again. Card zero, you know, something starting new. But this is towards something that you've already invested in. The seven of pentacles is here. And this is investments. This is something that you've already invested in. Something that you're looking at, you're focusing on. And then with the, the world, you know, this is a new cycle. Change is coming. It's either a new cycle or a recycle. And then we've got the three of cups. This is reconciliation. You know, this is coming together, celebrating, having a cheers in moment, toasting. And this is with something that you have not let go of. This is something that you kept hold up, held on to. But we are choosing something. We are choosing a path. We'll clarify, we'll find out. I feel like you're ready to take a re risk, <laughs> a risk, <laughs> a leap of faith towards something. Aries could be dealing with an earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. You're very, you're thinking a lot about this person, or someone's thinking a lot about you. And this is about how this is something that's already been left. There's someone that's already left. You've either already left this person or they left you. And this is something that you will, you, you won't, you can't stop thinking about it. You're not telling anyone that. But you cannot, you, there's very strong Taurus energy. Oh my God, if you're dealing with a Taurus, go and watch that reading. They're being spied on as well. Or if you've got Taurus in your birth chart, go and watch that reading. Let's clarify this energy for you, please. You don't have to be, just saying. Clarify this energy for Aries, please. Someone's obsessed with someone here. Someone is obsessed with someone. If there's been some kind of conflict going on or anything like that, then there is going to be, you know, that's going to come to an end. I feel like karma waters is going to be found. Some kind of peace will be reached. So about the Seven of Pentacles, please, for Aries. But this is, you know, it's looking at your investments, paying attention. Oh, the Queen of Wands. Okay, the Queen of Wands. This is you, your energy. There's something that you chose. There's something that you did, I feel. I mean, you know, flip the rolls as you, you know, as, as you see fit, by all means. But I feel like so, for some of you, you made a decision, possibly, that was on a sexual... It was based on a sexual level. That won't be for everyone. Give me one more for the Seven of Pentacles, please. Thank you. Yeah, okay. For some of you, there's a, there was a decision that you've... I feel like you've already made a decision, right? You've already chose some kind of path, but you're going to be starting again here. So there's, there's a path that you've already chosen from, okay? 
or take the time as it resonates. If you've not done any of the sort just yet, then you're going to, you know, that won't be the only one that you have to choose from because I feel like you're going to be doing it again. You're doing it again. You're making another decision because I feel like the one that you've done in the past wasn't the right way to go. And I feel like you know this. I feel like you're weighing these options up. You, you're reflecting on a decision that you made and it could have been to do with some enticing energy around you is what I want to say. If that makes sense. Yeah, some of you could have been a little bit in your ego at one point, Aries. Most definitely. <laughs> Tell me about this feel, please. But this is starting again. Okay, the five of swords. There's something that you're not telling anyone. There's something that you want to do here that you're not discussing. You're keeping it very much to yourself. Tell me more, please, for this feel. Oh, the sun. Leo energy. There's something here that you want to go towards which is going to make you very, very happy, but you're not telling anyone about it. Or you're not doing it. Shit, the tower. Um, For some of you, this won't be for everyone, but for someone watching that I'm connecting with, someone could be lying about pregnancy or someone's keeping pregnancy back. Someone's keeping pregnancy hidden because it's going to shock, going to make some kind of shock. That will be for everyone though. Um, but for others, you're not, you want to make a move on something, but you're holding back because your happiness is going to cause chaos for someone or for other people. But let me just stress that again, your happiness, yours, yeah? No one else's, yours. But you're not taking... You're not taking the jump toward it. You're not taking that risk toward it because it's going to cause a tower moment and I feel like the tower moment's for other people. Tell me about this world, please. For some of you, you're going to be doing it anyway because the feel, it jumps, you know, the feel jumps. And maybe you just haven't told anyone this, so you're just going to do it because you are jumping towards your own happiness regardless of the tower moment that it could possibly create. And if so, we agree. I agree with you, Aries. You don't hold back on... You don't be a... You know, it's all right being a people pleaser. We, we all do that to some degree, but you don't make that your priority. Your happiness is your own priority, you know? Tell me about this world, please. Okay, the High Priestess and Justice. So, someone's very, very, very intuitive. Justice is being served. I feel like there's a karmic cycle being turned here. There's a lot of elements involved. Someone's, wow, the star, look at all that powerful energy. This is healing, this is wish granted, this is getting what you want, this is the scales being brought back to balance and this is something to do with someone's intuition. There's a new cycle starting. This, some, some of you could have gone on a spiritual journey, some of you could be awakening, or somebody has, big time. Someone's gone through some kind of awakening. And it's brought justice to a situation. And now it's got the ability to heal. You know, the Three of Cups, this is celebration, this is coming together, reconciliation. Tell me about this Three of Cups, please, for Aries. Okay, strength, coming in with a Leo. Major Arcana Ranger. Wow. The Strength, the Ace of Cups and the Magician. So this is reconciliation here, guys, and someone's manifested it. It's took a lot of strength to be able to manifest, though. This has not come easy. This, because of this, there's something that's... There's a love here, or there's a relationship, or there's something that you're connected to energetically, Aries, that is that you want a lot, a lot, a lot, but it's not going to come easy, or it's... You've known that it's not going to come easy. Maybe that's why you've held back on something for so long because of, you know, a potential tower moment. But I feel like divine intervention, you know, the tower moment is divine intervention, but it's something that's going to be bringing the justice back to scale. It's healing. It's following your intuition. It's trusting your own instincts. It's celebration. It's having courage. It's having strength. It's new love with the Ace of Cups and it's been manifested. Wow. Wow. Covered in with the Taurus. 
you love this person a hell of a lot and I feel like you're about to tell them that. If you are confused about your feelings, don't be. <laughs> you know, don't second guess yourself. Tell you about this Four of Pentacles, please. So this is someone that you have, you know, the Four of Pentacles is holding on to something. It could be holding back as well. Um, for some of you, you have held back and just completely put your all into work. Some of you have just been very, very guarded, very standoffish, very protective of your emotions, of your heart. You've just completely put your money, your money first, your work first, your career first. But whilst doing that, though, because you have, you know, you've received abundance, you have, you're in the King of Pentacles energy, so you know, that's stable. It's having a good job. It's having a career, if you like. It's having a stable home. It's, but there's something that you're holding on to, whilst focusing on. Your career, if you like, the money aspects, the the pentacle side of things is still something that you're holding on to. There's an apology that's needed to be made here. Wow. I've got the page of cups, the queen of cups, the six of cups and the empress. There's an apology that needs to be made here to somebody. So whether that's someone that owes it to you, Aries, or whether you owe it to somebody, take it as it resonates. But I feel like it'll solve a lot of problems if it's made. Tell me about this two of ones, please. But this is a decision. This is a life. This is a path, you know, that's being chosen from you. This is you that needs to make this. Okay, we're choosing to build on things. Okay. The page of ones and the chariot. Right, okay. So I feel like for some of you, again, take the roles as it resonates. But for some of you, you've been very immature or someone's been acting very immature with this page of ones, you know, not, you know, a little bit, maybe commitment phobia, maybe, to some degree, or, you, or somebody was in that energy. But the decision now that's been made, that's been moved forward. Could be dealing with the cancer here with the chariot, but someone's moving forward. Someone wants to build on things. But I don't feel like this is, this has not been an easy process, whatever this is, because now it requires determination, you know. For some of you... Because I feel like this could be you, I'm not going to lie. For some of you, you are going to be travelling towards somebody. Some of you are choosing to travel towards someone. There's someone in your energy that has either rejected your couple of or you rejected theirs and that's not been let go of. That's not been let go of. This could have, That could have been a family or a blended family, you know. And it was a soulmate energy. And someone's seeing that now. Someone's either realising that now or seeing it, seeing it differently in some way. You. <laughs> you are. You're look, you need to look at something from a different perspective, Aries, or from a bigger perspective. And it's to do with someone that you love very much. Interesting. But that's what I have for you. Bit of a quick reading there. Ran straight through that one. Um, but let me know if these resonated. You know, subscribe to the channel if you're new. Um, comment on the video, I would love to hear it. Like the video, let's help it circulate YouTube. Um, but this is what I have. Hopefully, I will be back tomorrow because I want to try and get loads of readings out this week. So, I'll see you all soon, guys. Take care.